I am moving about chess course. Today I am going to teach basics. Basically, when you want to play chess, you need some important material. So first I am showing chess mat. A chess set you need and mat will be a different black and white squares. This consists of 64 squares and you have to sit in front of A, B, C, D, H, A to H and right and left side 1 to 8 will be there that members and as well as I am showing another mat here yes, this is in white and green with two different you may be having a different cardboard or any paper sticking uh, surface surface paper sticking chess boards that may you you may use but some chess boards won't uh, there won't be members as well as alphabets but you have to use alphabets as well as members the chess board is comfortable I am showing you now pieces you have to say pieces don't say points maybe the Terminology use points and all, but you have to say you have to say pieces. So now I am going to introduce after mat chess pieces, black and white pieces. Before actually any game that starts, before you have to go for color toss. Color toss means there is a black and white. Once you have to take in hands, you have to go keep in back, you have to ask your opponent which color. Suppose you, your opponent may or, uh, choose the white or white one, you have to change the white side. There is some boards, white and black won't be there. You can use that. The right side, right side. There is a white square in every board. That, that is important. Where, where the, uh, the alphabets are not there, you have to choose the right side. And your opponent also will have right side, white square in any board. That is correct sitting position. So then you can start a chess. After chess or uh, color toss, you can go for play. But before that, you have to know the characters of each and every. Piece. Now you have seen in this, I am going from the beginning, from the beginning, what will be there in chess board, what type of pieces there in chess board. So first I am introducing king. King, the king means you have to write alphabet K. That is, when you are going for notation, Notation is writing every move. For this, king, cons king is considered as K when you are writing from notations. King, this is white king in black square. And uh, as well as I am showing you queen. Q, Q con uh, considered as a queen. The queen is next to left because under three pieces, the different pieces comes to the uh, left side of the the king, queen will come. Now, as well as now, I'm going to introduce bishops. The bishops, you have to say bishop. Some, some, you, you may use this camel, but don't you don't say camel. This is the terminology, chess terminology. You have to go for queen, uh, king, as well as bishop. Now, either side. See here, one, both 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 are in the same color, white. But this is in white square, this is in black square. Black, so this is goes cross. That when I am going to teach character, this character that will come. Now, otherwise, now you have to go for a nice, nice white knights, both the sides. There's two knights there, like a, two bishops. Now I'm going to introduce you the arrangement of the chessboard, complete chessboard, how it is. Now each and every piece, the back row you have to fit. Now here. King over and queen over, bishops over, as well as knights 
the knights we 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 for bishop in for knight when notation i told you have to keep in mind the notation is very important for every chess player those who are learning as a professional way and as well as now i am going to introduce the, the roots this consists of r you have to consider as a r then both roots are there either side of the chess board now that row totally filled with the powers you can say powers or is uh, 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 the powers than pawns its own character will be there now the front row you have to fill all the pawns the every pawn will be there in front of them so likewise you can see so the opponent will also have black pieces uh, 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 black pieces you have to arrange the same order this is the way then now you are going to learn its character character means uh, the pawn moves straight either uh, one once it comes its place original place pawn moves two steps that is your wish you can go for a one step but this cuts cross opponent always opponent pieces cuts cross any piece you can cut but one thing you have to keep in mind when you are going you should have support some support some sort of support you don't go for alone we don't leave any piece any piece alone so now i am just i am going for going is for two step this is supporting by root this is the way so every piece is, should have a support you are likewise the now is cuts cross i told goes two steps from its original place or one step as you wish according to your game plan you can go it is about the pawns now you are going to learn character of the rook rook goes straight always either suppose it is in middle it is, when it is in middle when it is in middle is the plus so go straight back and from its right and left this is the way this will not go cross this is about rook and now i am going to introduce knight knight always in shape from the soldier base in shape to two squares straight you know, friends go straight and one square left or right or one square go straight to left or right a in shape that like that likewise you can go suppose suppose you can see in the board now you can cut okay this is in shape two straight Two squares straight, one is left. So, so right, suppose right also same. Suppose you can see now, one square when it is goes one square straight, one two two squares. No, now you can learn easily. So first you have to practice L shape or top or left wherever L shape you can go in. You can put a pawn. You can place the pawn. Then you can you can you will have knowledge of. You know, Knight. So this is the way you have to improve uh, your game. Fast. You know, how its character. Now I am going to introduce bishop. Bishop. I told you, two bishops are there. One is in white square. One is in black square. Black square is is goes cross only. So always will not go front or right or left straight. Only right or left cross. It is. Always cross. White in white, white goes in white squares. Maximum extent, whatever is it, that is maximum extent. This is the way you can see the see about uh, bishops. As well as now king, it is uh, coming in the king, uh, the next character. King always move one step, one step right, left, across or French. This is the way you can see king, king cross one one step cross, one step cross. As well as French, as well as left, as well as right. This is the way. The opponent also you can. But kings, when kings opposite king, so perpetual, it comes that that will not go close to the king. At least one square left between the kings. That is the way. Okay. Then now, now you are learning a row queen. Queen, there is no limit for that. It goes cross. It goes left. It goes right. It goes straight, so I can show. I can show it. 
King. King was maximum exchange. So he goes tanks. Maximum, wherever it is, from even back also, uh, left also, right also, as well as cross also. It goes like a bishop also. And main you can keep in your mind like a bishop, like a rook, like a king. The queen is having complete power. Maximum exchange. Jay Guru. This is about chess boards as well as arrangement of the pieces. Then that is character. Thank you, Jay Guru.